Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you've all had a lovely Christmas and New Year. I am kicking off strong by deep cleaning this bathroom. It doesn't look all that dirty, you can't see the full grime, but the glass is so water stained, it's terrible, it's always been that way and it's just time to tackle it. The silverware and stuff needs cleaning, the grout is quite grubby, um, something that we've noticed for a while and it's just not coming up so... I am tackling it. I'm going to clean the sink and hi, that's me. And just get on top of everything. Um, yeah, and the floor needs to clean. I don't often do that, it's terrible, but it's such a small space. I just, I don't know. I'm a terrible cleaner. What can I say? Um, so I'm just starting by taking everything out of the bathroom, making sure it's a blank canvas. There's nothing in here that I need to move or anything like that. Um, I do need to put a bin liner in the bin. I would like a new bin for in here, actually, because as great as this one is, because it's big, it holds quite a bit. It's also a bit annoying. Um, so, yeah, I've been to a B&M um, the other day and got some new cleaning stuff. So I've got other grease, grease, whatever, um, glass cleaner, Mrs. Myers, some cloths, and then a glass cloth. And then I got this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, duck, fresh discs for the toilet. And the pink stuff um like cleaning kit so it's got two tubs of pink stuff and it's got like a big it's essentially a big electric toothbrush and it comes with different heads so it's like a rubber head there's a large head there's a soft head and a medium head it even comes with its own batteries everyone get that for a christmas gift um so yeah i got this because i thought it would really help scrub some of the areas that i can't get to with a cloth um like the grout might have been easier to get to and stuff because I've known that people um, use a steamer, but I've known that also it can loosen the grout in your tiles and stuff. So I thought I'd try this first. I do have a steaming tool somewhere. I just need to use it. Um, but yeah, so I've decided to, I'm just I'm just boasting that I've got this now. It was £10 from B&M, if anyone's interested. Um, if you not, I'll leave a link to it if you can get it on Amazon or something. So this is me trying it out. So the grout is a little bit like yellow and orange in places. There's not necessarily any mould or anything like that. It's literally just like trapped dirt and it being a little bit grubby. Um, so yeah, I've just decided to try and tackle it with the new toothbrushy thing. I'll find the official name for it, but I'm going to call it the te toothbrushy thing for a while. Um, and it was worked well. It was good. It was very powerful. Um, I feel like you can see here how grubby it actually is um honestly um I did have to keep turning it off to fill the top with the paste and then say off going again but other than that it was really good and I feel like it's going to be very versatile in the kitchen and bathroom areas specifically um but yeah so I really enjoyed using it, it was really good quick and easy to use it was really I used the smallest head the medium one um, just to try and get into the grout because the tiles themselves weren't dirty like they you know it was just more of the grout being a little bit grubby and needed the extra kind of love and care I think the word might be <laughs> like my problem is with a shower I'm like yeah of course it's clean we use it nearly every day and water runs past it and all that you don't realize the damage water can actually do to something and that's my problem um so yeah, I gave myself a big kick in the butt and put my big girl pants on and was like, come on, let's just clean this bathroom. So, yeah, I, this is kind of part of my series that I want to do, which is a declutter and deep clean series. If you are interested, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video so you can keep up to date. Turn on the little bell thing so you don't miss any of my videos. But that is my big task for the next coming months is a kind of declutter and deep clean of the house there's some areas of the house just don't need it like this bathroom didn't need a declutter it just needed a deep clean but here we are we're trying out our new little tool and we're getting things done um also I'm laughing at myself really a lot because has anyone seen that meme recently where it's like how perfect your hair looks at the front because you styled it all nice and you're like oh so cute and then it's the back and it just looks a mess and you think oh oh wow um that I'm laughing at that because I thought my hair looked fairly okay from the front I was like yeah kind of like shabby okay just cleaning the house but looked kind of cute um and then I looked at the back and I was like watching this video back I was like wow my hair does not look nice today 
So now I'm questioning how many days do I go out of the house and my hair looks like that from the back. Maybe I'll just start wearing a hat. Maybe that's how it needs to go. So yeah, if anyone's seen it, it's hilarious and that I'm relating to it so bad today. Um, so I used it on the sink. We've got a problem with the sink. So the pl- actual plug part gets stuck. So you'll see me in a second, like trying to get it undone after the water's gone in. I'm like, oh my gosh, please come out. Um, but also we've thrown like fizzy drinks like Diet Coke and stuff down the sink. I know you're not supposed to. Mm. Um, scold me for that later. But yeah, um, so it's actually some of the um, Diet Coke and stuff has eroded that middle sink part, that little plug part. So I think I'm going to have to replace it eventually. It's fine for now because we don't ever use it like to plug the sink. Um, but yeah, it just doesn't look nice and it's nice to like, it would be nice to properly clean it. So I've learned a lesson. I'm no longer putting things like that down the sink. Um one of my biggest things I hate about cleaning the bathrooms is the dust. Because I feel like I'm just moving the dust around the sink and on the surfaces. I don't feel like I ever get rid of it. Does anyone else feel like that, like that when they clean? Do they ever think that they're just moving the dust around? It's not necessarily dirt. It's just the dust. Um, but, you know, one of those things. I like to just complain. So I decided to just use the pink stuff everywhere because I had it. And I was like, well, for two tubs, let's be... Let's really clean this place. Um, I don't often do the windowsill as such, um, just because it's not a place that you yeah, put anything on there. There's just that little basket of stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I'm really trying to, <laughs> trying to challenge myself. I'm not a dirty person by any means. I'm just like, I don't know, maybe lazy. That's my, maybe that's what it is. I'm lazy. Um, <laughs> I do enjoy cleaning though, it helps me give me a fresh like, I don't know, like we went out the other day and I came home and I like had a whole meltdown just because there was so much stuff out, like I'd not tidied up after lunch and breakfast and there was just pots everywhere and dirty dishes, there was rubbish that needed to go in the bin and I was like wow, I am overwhelmed um and Cora <laughs> Cora bless her was really good and she was just like right shall we just have a quick tidy and then you can move on and you're fine um I was fine I was fine eventually um I think I've just been in a bit of a funk recently and I'm trying to get myself out of it and I'm like come on put your big girl pants on that's gonna be my new phrase um and maybe it's time for I'm not just surviving I want to be thriving we're going to try that this year. We're going to try strive, striving. We're going to try and do better and not just exist because I feel like that's what I've been doing. I've just been existing. Um, so I thought I'd tackle the, uh, what do you call them? The glass doors of the shower. So the problem with the shower is obviously you have to kind of be in it to clean the inside both doors. You can Otherwise you only kind of get one half because obviously when it's open it's it's like a, a slidey thing so I had to be in the shower and yeah sometimes it gets a bit hard because if I spray anything in there I'm trapped in so I have to hold my breath come out the shower breathe and then the the smells kind of disappear disappeared a little it's a very odd scenario but it's a tight space um it's a good bathroom very grateful that we've got a ensuite bathroom but yeah it can be a tight space especially when you're trying to film don't realise how bad the angles are. Um, so, yeah, I'm trying. I'm working with it. Um, I used the toothbrushy thing, <laughs> the pink stuff scrubber, on the um, the shower knobs because I noticed some, like, lime scale build-up on one of the parts. You'll see me jump there. That jump, the water was dropping from the shower, dropped all the way down my back, so... I did have to get changed after this. Also, I got absolutely splatted with pink stuff. You can see it splatted on my T-shirt and jeans throughout the video. (laughs) That's another thing to keep in mind if you are going to use one of those tools. They might splat a lot of stuff at you. I say might, probably will. Um, But it felt good to kind of have a really nice deep clean of the shower, Um, especially somewhere that I like. A shower can really help reset the day for me. So if I'm having a bad day, I will go get a shower and just be like, right, I can start afresh now. It's like a new day. And that's me done. Um, 
so it was nice to kind of put the effort in to make it feel a little bit cleaner and nicer and um, don't laugh at my cleaning face. <laughs> Apparently I've got a cleaning face. I've only just realised recently, but I'm like clenching my jaw and like frowning. So I don't have a resting itch face. I just have a resting frown face. Like I seem to constantly like look like I'm upset or mad or thinking hard about something. I'm not generally. Sometimes I'm like just singing a song in my head and la la la. But apparently I have a resting frown face, especially when I'm cleaning. I seem to look really angry and I'm not. It's so strange. Um, so yeah, don't please. I, I hope somebody else in the world has got one of these faces. So I'm not on my own with this. Look at my face. Oh, my gosh. It's so bad. Um, it's quite funny, though, to watch. Um, I can't believe I put this on the internet and sometimes. But, yes, that's my resting frown face or my cleaning face. Um, I haven't used this tool in ages. I'll just point out this little squeegee tool. Um, but I was really glad I pulled it out because I was like, this would be perfect for those doors really try and get rid of the um watermarks because they just they just don't look nice um so everything I use I'm going to use in the main bathroom and try and do a deep clean and declutter in there as well maybe um over the next coming days and yeah it really worked ha it really it worked really well I know some people use the catcher window vac um to clean I used to have one of those and I did love it but to be honest this works just as well for me right now I don't need another big thing that I have to store somewhere. Um, but if you have a handy little tool for glass and like shower curtains, shower windows and doors and stuff, do let me know in the comments because I'm always interested in finding something new to use that would really help reduce the friction. Me and Cora always talk about friction um, when we're doing something that maybe we're not fully enjoying and there's a part of it that we you want to make easier for yourself. If you can reduce the friction, it makes the task easier. And the friction is like, what would stop you doing it? Like sometimes for me, cleaning the bathrooms is because I know I need to use certain tools or this, that and other. And so if you can get something to help you do that, like I've just got that pink stuff kit, helped me be a bit more excited about doing the job. It helped me get the job done and I wasn't so miserable doing it and stuff like that. So if you can, yeah, you'll find what works for you. And um, sometimes it helps. Sometimes it's like just putting music on or listening to a podcast or whatever. Um, I'm a music person. If I can have a little like bop to something, I will totally do it. Um, but yeah, I'm not. Podcasts actually make me tired. They make me sleepy. Cora can listen to them in the car driving and I'm like, yep, no, I'm out. See you later, I'm snoozing. Um, so yeah. That's that's me. That's me all over. I um um so yeah, that's me. I'm out, sleepy, tired, done. Um so I'm just putting everything back in the showers, tidying up now, tidying everything away. We are gonna get a shower caddy soon, but that's in the future. Um but yeah, this is the final thing. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I hope it's brought you some joy or inspiration or something. And make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm going to do more videos like this. And I will hope you're all having a lovely new year and I'll see you very soon. Bye.